You guys, I kind of have a problem. I have like a Christmas village problem. I can't stop collecting them. Once you start, it's really hard to stop. Besides cobblestone corners, Dollar Tree also has some new Christmas villages. In this video, I'm going to cover the Christmas House Mini Christmas Village and the Christmas House Whimsical Holiday Fairy Garden. So let's escape into the world of Christmas villages together. Hi, my name is Fanny and I'm addicted to Christmas villages. Here's my top tip when getting Christmas village houses. So I went to Dollar Tree to check out the Cobblestone Corners Christmas village and I came across this new set. Like this fairy garden Christmas village set that I've never seen before. And this other set that just looks like ceramic houses is actually polyresin. But I was just like, what are these sets? I had no idea and I just grabbed a bunch. The entire set was there and I just wasn't paying attention. I missed these two houses on the right, the pinecone one and the one with the snow and the snowman. And when I went back, of course it was gone and it never had it again. So these sets have very limited quantities. So if you see it, just grab it. So my tip is to get it when you see it. Let's check out the Christmas house mini Christmas village, which is brand new to Dollar Tree. This Christmas house mini Christmas village is made of poly resin, which is a statue material. And it's the same as like the fairy garden set. It's kind of like a ceramic kind of material. It's heavy duty, like it's heavy and thick. It can also chip, so you have to watch out for that. It uses two AAA batteries, so they light up. This set just has like living quarters, like houses with like a, a trailer we could live in and six different houses as well as like a Christmas booty that you can live in and some trucks but there's no like stores or shops like the cobblestone corners so it's kind of like limited to like living areas so that's how you can differentiate this set from others here we have a triangular house it's called an a-frame kind of house and it has two big Christmas trees, like one on the left, one on the right, and a snowman in front. And look at the details of the cobblestone pathway and the doorway. And this look all the way around. See, every side is decorated and there's details. Now let's light it up and see how it looks. I like how these houses have a nice glow to it when it's lit. Next, let's check out this reddish brown brick house. I almost want to sing the song, Brick House. <laughs> With double triangular roofs it's almost like two buildings together with a big christmas tree on the outside and this kind of like cement stone walkway for the staircase it kind of reminds me of a house like in the east coast like a new jersey house and let's look all the way around you can see the brick and the stone detail all the way around the house let's turn it on and see it all lit up it's lit it's all lit you see how these houses have a warm glow to it? It's different than the cobblestone corners houses. It's almost like you can see the light through the houses. It just has a nice warm glow to it. Next, we have this cream color house with two front doors. Each red door has a wreath and a curved staircase leading to each door. And there's trees in between each staircase. Let's look all the way around it. What I like is that each house has different textures on it. So you can see the texture of the floor, the texture of the staircase, the texture of the trees. So it's kind of nice and it feels kind of tactile-ish. Next we have this beige house that's kind of like a Victorian house with its rounded tower on the right side. And the first floor windows has an awning above the windows and has three steps and a wreath on top and some balconies. It looks like it could be a haunted mansion or not. <laughs> so up to your imagination. And when we turn it, you can see that the sides are like brick material and then the back is like wood panels. It's like mixed materials for this house. And when it's all lit up, the whole house glows. This is probably the brightest house out of all of the mini houses. Next, we have this orange brick house and it has three triangular roofs. It's almost like three different buildings together. The front door is double wooden doors. It's a gray cobblestone walkway and multiple trees in front. Let's look at it all the way around. 
You can see the brick detail all the way around the house. And it has a chimney on top as well. Let's see it all lit up. And it looks like the whole house glows. So this one's kind of cool as well, like how the whole house looks like it's lit up, not just the windows. Next we have the old woman who lives in a shoe meets Santa. So this is kind of like Santa's shoe. And it's kind of a cute design with like a house that's a different shape with windows, just two windows and a shoe buckle on it with a mistletoe on top. And when we turn it all the way around, it's definitely the most unique shaped Christmas village house ever. And let's look at the boot all lit up. I wonder who lives here. And the last one in the set is this teardrop camper. It's kind of a retro design. I like that this is a different kind of house. It has a Christmas tree in front and it has a nice window with curtains and another window on the door with a wreath and it's a decorated trailer. Kind of feels like someone could really live in there. And when we turn it all the way around, you can see the little details of what a camper would really have. You can see the other wheel on the other side. And let's light it up. And when you light it up, you see the decorations more. It pops out more like the garland pops out more on the top and the tree pops out with the yellow glowing in the background. Now let's check out the figurines that go with this village, the mini Christmas village figurines. Finally, so here's Santa on a sleigh and he kind of gets antsy on the sleigh and here's Santa mail mailbox. Here's the same Santa again. He likes it better in this trolley and here's like a stocking with gifts and a train. Next we have an outdoor Christmas tree with a lamp post and a Christmas tree farm sign with gifts and three gingerbread Christmas trees. And a lamppost with two cardinal birds and three baby reindeer. Aren't they cute? And they're wearing the jingle bells around their necks. And to complete the set, I have three vintage trucks. A blue one with gifts, a red one with a Christmas tree, and a white one with a Christmas tree. Now let's look at the set together with the figurines. Let's take a final look at everything together. I used faux snow available at Dollar Tree, and I made my own riser in the back. And if you want to make your village look bigger, just add doubles of other houses. And here's a village all lit up. You can always add this to other Dollar Tree Christmas Village sets. Now let's check out another Dollar Tree Christmas Village. It's called Christmas House Whimsical Holiday Fairy Garden. So what's different about the fairy garden is that it doesn't light up. It's the only set that doesn't light up. Also, I found these four houses at Dollar Tree that don't belong to any sets, but I'm adding it here just to give it more character. And these fairy garden houses are really meant for outdoor, but I don't know if I would trust it to be outdoors in the weather. But um, they're designed to be like in nature and made like flowers or mushrooms or things that you would find in nature. And you can integrate it into your garden if you want to but I just have it indoors. This first house is like a Gerbera daisy on top, just folded down into like a mushroom house. And let's check it out all the way around. There's two windows in the front and really nothing in the back, but the design on the top goes all the way around and there's like a grass, like moss detail on the rim of the roof. This next one's a tree house with a welcome sign in the front door frame and the door has like a light coming out of in front let's check out all the way around you just see the wood pieces all the way around and there's no more windows in the back there's no windows in this house let's take a closer look and you can really see like there's a holly mistletoe on the door frame next this looks like a church there's a cross on top with a bell and it's made of like stone bricks and it has a wreath in the doorway and a tree in the front. 
let's look at it all the way around. And the roof is kind of uneven, like on purpose, asymmetrical, <laughs> that's what I would say. This next house has some green leaves or petals and like a wooden house with a bell in the front and the door and a tree on the left and actually a window on top. So this one has a window. Let's look at it all the way around and you can see the bark of the tree, texture of the leaves and the snow. This one is Santa's workshop made out of like a log cabin. And there's a wreath on the door and the stone kind of frame for the door. Let's go get all the way around. There's a window on the side. No windows in the back, but you can see the wood texture. And another window on the other side and a chimney. Now let's check out the holiday fairy garden figurines. First up are the holiday fairies. There's three of them and they have three different poses. Next we have a dog, a bunny, and a squirrel. And when you're in the store and you're wondering which ones go with this set, look at the package. It says fairy garden figurines on top. So it says Christmas house fairy garden figurines. This one has the three Santas and they're kind of like gnome Santas. This one is three penguins. They have scarves and gifts and they have different poses. And this is the three different North Poles or the, the poles with stripes on it. And one, one has a welcome sign, one has a lamppost, the other one has a snowflake. And I found these mini doors. These kind of doors can be placed on the bottom of a tree stump to make it the tree look like a house or any object so that it makes it look like a house. So transform anything into a house, it's kind of cool. And then we have two deers and a dog. And they all have hats, so they're kind of dressed for the holidays. Now let's look at everything all put together. This is including the four extra houses that I found and the figurines. Here are the deer and the dog relaxing. And the three fairies are having a chat. And the penguins are just having a good time. And here's one set of gnome Santas versus another set of gnome Santas on the left. And here it is all together. You can add this winter fairy garden to your Christmas village collection as well as the mini Christmas village that I showed you earlier. And they can all go together because I put them all together with my cobblestone corner set. Do you want to see my entire collection? Here you go. This is my entire Christmas Village collection that I've collected over the past two years. This is like three sets. Everything can go together if you wanted to, if you don't mind mixing and matching. Here's where to find the complete sets. So on DollarTree.com, they have the Christmas House Mini Christmas Village and the Christmas House Whimsical Holiday Fairy Garden they may or may not be in stock. Don't forget to watch my other Christmas Village videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.